and the, the gray water yeah. from the showers and from the from the sinks yeah. is coming to here yeah. and then it goes inside the system mm -hmm. and then the water you can hear the water it's flowing before so before i fed her some she, she had water already so it's a it's a new one so we started putting the the manure from the horses you know that we have some horses yes, yes. the system is ready to go so slowly slowly she's she's eating now she gave she ate about Okay, welcome, welcome everyone to Nafar Neke Media. And today I have uh, one of our very special guests who, who works with the... Uh, which company is this? So we're working with the Araba Institute for Environmental Studies and the Elate Lote Renewable Energy uh, Initiative. And uh, we're standing here at uh, our demonstration uh, off-grid uh, village where we're going to be looking at some, um, uh, some uh, renewable technologies and off-grid technologies. Thank you very much, and uh, please take us a tour. Let's have a look. Yeah. So if we look right from here, where we are here, yeah. we can see a few of our installations. Yeah. So um, what we're looking in front of us here yeah. is a, a water purification system, mm -hmm. which is called the uh, Laguna Innovation uh, uh, Technology. Yeah. And basically what it's doing is, it's taking water. You can hear the water. Yeah. Yeah. So it's taking the water which are coming from the students. Mm -hmm. The students are producing uh, sewerage. They're producing black water and this is the wastewater from the dormitories. Yes, mm -hmm. this is the wastewater from the dormitories, yeah. and uh, the the grey water yeah. from the showers and from the from the sinks yeah. is coming to here. Yes, and then it goes inside the system, mm -hmm. and then the water you can hear the water it's flowing down inside these uh, mats yeah. on top of the, the green vertical mats. Yeah, and they have a, a, a biofilm. Wow. that grows there and the biofilm is cleaning the water and the water is flowing all the time over the biofilm the biofilm cleans the water and then we send the water uh, at the moment it goes to the sewage but the next experiment is yeah. to use the water for uh, for agriculture wow. so this is a water recycling system which is good for a small village or for, for a small uh, community wow. so it's a kind of desalinization it's uh, it's a, a uh, purification. purification, purification of the water. The salts remain inside there, but it cleans the the, the, the organisms and the different stuff inside the water. Yeah, but it's good for irrigation, not for drinking. So we have to. Ah, we have the to level for it's not the standard is not for drinking. No, only the standard is only for agriculture. Mm -hmm. For agriculture, you can eat the fruit after. That's okay. Okay, but but you cannot drink the water directly. No, mm -hmm. we have different technologies for for cleaning for the water. Cleaning before, so before I fed her some, she, she had water already, so it's a, it's a new one. So we started putting the, the manure from the horses, you know, that we have some horses Yes, yes. So I was putting some, uh, some of the manure, you know, I was mixing it with water and I was putting it inside here. Yeah. And then inside the manure, there's the uh, bacteria from the stomach of the yeah. horse. And, uh, and it's creating, it's the, it's the bacterium that creates the gas, the methane, that's what we want. Yes. So basically this is like a big stomach of a horse or a cow, basically. Mm -hmm. And when we give the, the fake stomach, when we give it the, the bacteria, yeah. the bacteria start to multiply, to multiply. Yeah. And then you can see it's starting to make a little bit of gas. This is gas here. And, and makes how, a little, how yeah. long does it take to make the gas, by the way? The, when, when you start at the beginning, it's maybe one week, maybe two weeks, maybe three. At the beginning, it's very slow. It's very slow because the bacteria are, are very small. There's not, not a big population. Yeah. But then after two, three weeks, yeah. The, the numbers become big enough yeah. and then they're giving a lot of gas and you can see the gas yeah. and now she's at the time where I, give her, I gave her now Tanya just gave her the, the first uh, the real food you know uh -huh. this is the first food after the initial stage we yeah. call activation yeah. now we give her the first food and now I'm going to give her some, uh, some, um, some uh, probiotics it helps her. It's a, it's a it's a it's a tablet that the company makes. It's a probiotic. Wow. We're just going to give it just to help it a little bit. It stabilizes the pH and uh -huh. makes the environment nice for the bacteria. Wow. So I'm going to add that inside. You see there? Look, easy like that. I'm going to be careful. We don't want it to splash on you in case we make a splash. I'm going to put it inside, and that's it. System is ready to go. So slowly, slowly, she's she's eaten now. She gave she ate about maybe one and a half kilos of uh, yeah. of cuttings from the kitchen. Yeah. And uh, next week, inshallah, she'll be you know half full. And then we just keep going. We keep going. We we monitor it. And once once it's stable, yeah. You can just feed it, just feed it, and every day she'll give gas. Even now she'll give gas. You want to see? Yeah. And, and what amount of gas can you get? Uh... So so uh, this one, for if you take. 
one one bucket yeah one big bucket yeah you put that inside here uh, every day you put one big bucket yeah and that means every day you have three hours of cooking yeah wow. of gas for cooking wow. okay one 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 stove one nice big stove yeah three hours so you can make a, a nice uh, stew a nice poke you can you can cook for the day so you can able to collect and store the gas or you have to go direct well, look here we store the gas here uh -huh. see this is this is the water yeah and then the gas you see this now yeah. here inside here will be another another system and to fill with gas uh -huh. now it's it's only it's only starting now uh -huh. in two weeks time it will be more in three weeks time it will be running and the whole system will be going and then it will be maximum power and between uh, using the uh, horse manure or animal manure and uh, food, food is, uh, food is made, which one is ah. more better? so you you look at the beginning yeah. The, the, the horse manure or, or the animal manure, yeah. what we want inside there is the bacteria, yeah. okay? Because the, 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 the goats, the, the horses, the, the cows are eating uh, uh, grasses yes. and things from, from nature. Yeah. And inside their stomach, they have bacteria and they're doing the same process inside the bacteria. And we want this bacteria. We want to do the same process, but here. So at the beginning, we start with the manure, yeah. okay? just to start the bacteria and oh, then later when the bacteria are going we give them food then we give them the the, the vegetables the finish you know the the things oh. from the vegetables we don't we don't eat then we start okay and then they start going and then the bacteria stay here like a stomach like a normal they stay here and we just feed them every day like a cow we oh. feed it every day and he'll and it will start doing the gas automatically and the bacteria will live the bacteria will live here and the gas will come inside here oh. so if you want to increase the process of uh uh, an aerobic process you have to come and put the activation or exactly at the beginning you activate with the manure with the bacteria uh -huh. they start the anaerobic uh, uh, digestion yeah. okay and then and then they start going then you just feed them give them food and then uh -huh. they just they go forever so every day you come and feed through here right? so we feed yeah. here ah, we feed through so here. We, we feed through here yeah. Okay, we, we, we put inside here, you see, I'm not going to touch it because I, yeah. I, I want to clean my hands, I have to go eat now. <laughs> but uh, we open here, we, we put all of the, the, the food in here, like one bucket, yeah. you know? Yeah. And like every time I make a salad, you know, I have a small amount of the foods that yeah. I don't eat, that stuff over yeah. there, you know? Yeah. There's even, there's even uh, the model eventually is that you can also use uh, uh, waste from the toilet. Okay, mm. but right now this one is for only using for, for stuff from the kitchen. Okay, uh -huh. but there are models that you can use US waste from the toilet and then and then you can also use the, the sludge that comes out there, you can maybe use it for a fertilizer. And now they're doing a study in, in Kenya to see if, if it's good for, uh, for as a fertilizer, you know, because after many months you get some stuff that you must take out from there. Uh, which company is this? This company is called Home Buyer Guys. You can ah, see there. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool guys. Yeah. Um, they were alumni here. Yeah. They, they, they've been testing this system for uh, more than, I think, eight years already. Uh, and, you know, they've, gone, they've, they've learned a lot from the field. They've, yeah. they've worked very hard and they've come to this system, which is very cheap, yeah. which is very strong and, uh, and it's ready for, uh, for work. And and now they're actually exporting into Kenya. They're doing a lot of. I'll go. I'll show yeah. you guys the yeah. the fire inside. Yes. So it, it, I haven't run this for a while. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So let's see. Wait a second. It's going to take because I haven't run no, it the it's, first it's, time. It's the yeah. first time. It's the first time. So I don't know. But you see, and and this is an old. This is an old. Uh, this is an old stove. I have a new stove. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. I'll clean it off a little bit nicely. Yeah. So this is. Start start up after first installation after a long time. Okay, so it's gonna take it's gonna take a little bit of time. Let's see. Okay. We. Oh, oh, it was so fast. You see that? <laughs> wow. So Ow. after all this time, there's been gas. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's it. So off grid cooking. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Clean cooking and look. It's clean, okay? Yeah. It means that when you, when you burn it, yeah. it doesn't make uh, a smoke. soot, doesn't make the smoke, which is very bad for the lungs. Yeah. Yeah. And usually who's cooking? It's our mama that's cooking, right? Yeah. And it's very bad for her if she's cooking. Look how clean, look at that, blue, blue. It's Over here, we can see the, uh, the uh, urban hut. So this was, uh, the hut itself yeah. was made from boxes. Uh, that we found here and there. All of the all of the structures, all of the huts that we built here, you yeah. can see our three huts. We have yeah. the urban hut over here, yeah. over there we have the Iranian hut, yeah. and over there we have the African hut. Yeah. And all of these 
three different types of living systems yes. were inspired by the way people are living in different uh, cultures yes. and we used the materials as they would find them in their local place. Here for the urban hut yes. we used wooden boxes, we, we, we have a solar field here yes. and the solar field, had the, the panels came inside wooden boxes. Yes. So we took the wooden boxes and we made a house from the wooden boxes. Ah, so the kind of using the local available materials we used without some, buying it. Yes. Exactly, we yes. did like a recycling process where, yes. the, where the trash from someone else yes. becomes the building material for the next person. Yes. So instead of going from throwing into the trash, yes. we, we give it a new life. Mm -hmm. And then on this system, we can see that this house also has a solar panel and it's producing electricity to run the lighting and to run the fanning inside the house or if you want to play a radio also so people can come home when yeah. it's dark and they can still see they can study they can do whatever they need to do so basically what i understanding like the concept of off-grid village is um, you can use the natural resources without being connected to the national grid that's part of it that's part of it Part of that is, is learning how to, to, to recycle, how to live off the grid. Yes. And uh, as we were saying earlier, a yes. place for people to learn, a place for people to explore, a place for people to try new things. Yes. Yeah, exactly that. If we go further over there, you can see yes. the Iranian hut. So, so if we, we see this whole house yes. was made from mud. And um, it's actually they made, if you see at the top over there, yeah. at the top you can see it's made of a very, very long sausage. Yes. Lots of, lots of bags that they make like this and they make it round yes. and they pile it up and eventually they put the mud on top of it. And that's how they built this up. Again, all from sand, all from mud, taken from here. They, they dug it outside of the earth from here. Wow. All of the materials come from here. It also has a solar panel. It's very cool inside because the, the, the walls yes. are, are, are holding the, yeah. the, the coolness during yeah. the night. They, they hold it nicely. It has a solar panel. It has, it has hot water also. This is, a, this is a solar water heater. This is a solar water heater. I'll move this out the way. So this is a solar water heater like yes. in Israel. They're using... For, for heating the water. Yes. But in Israel they're made with glass, yes. they're made with metal and yes. copper. And this and it's very expensive. Uh, but this one was made for off-grid situations. Mm -hmm. It's made completely of plastic. Wow. The tank, usually the here we have them separated, the, the, the solar collector and the water heater. And here it's all integrated. So the, the, the water is actually inside here. You can see it's full of water. Wow. Yes. And the water is very hot here. Well, this is a popular idea because you are living, you are not connected to electricity, but you are using hot water to take a shower. You have, you you have the luxuries. You have the luxuries of you the are, modern world. You are cooking with the natural resources. We don't uh, without the electricity. You exactly. are cooking with the gas. We, exactly. Wow, this is, this is and, and and you have already the the biogas. Yeah. You you know what the solar oven is? The solar cooker. Oops. Hang on a second. Wow. Yeah, you can put your hand here. Wow, it is uh, getting hot. So if you put your poke here, yeah. at 10 in the morning, yeah. okay, you cut your things, yeah. you make your vegetables, you put your poke at 10 in the morning, yeah. and you have uh, one of the children that will come yeah. and will change it. The poke is ready, and also you take the cutting from the poke and you put inside the biogas. Yeah. At night, system we put the wow. water back there so everything is utilized so the 
uh, after you, you put your material in the biogas, you take the gas and you take the waste in the fertilizer. So everything is a, is a circle. The yeah. water from the, from the bathroom, the waste water, because you purify and use it again. Wow. So everything is utilized within the same environment. I really appreciate and uh, it's a great honor to meet you and have this it's, explanation. It's, it's going to help people change uh, in terms of attitude about uh, how they utilize the natural resources around. Yeah. Thank you very much and looking forward to work with you in Kenya. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>